Hi, in this video, I will explain the various export options for the SpeedTree ND version of the modeler. This modeler not only includes our photogrammetry tools, but also allows game-focused file exports. I have a games model already open for this demo. One thing you will notice with the ND modeler is that it's geared to export models for multiple game engines, even custom ones. So if you look at the Win settings, you'll see that you have three different Win options, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, and Lumberyard. If you're exporting to a different custom engine, you just select the wind style algorithm you want the model to have and set the shader up to read the data. Okay, that's looking good. Once your model is done, you can export your asset by going to File, then Export to Game. Now, compared to subscription-based modelers, you will have more file options to choose from, such as FBX, OBJ, and XML. The XML is the raw data of the tree. It includes everything we compute, some of which are not available through FBX or OBJ, such as per vertex ambient inclusion. Those of you writing a custom pipeline to your game might want to take a look at using XML instead of the standard static mesh format. Once your file type is selected, just hit Save, and an Export to Game pop-up should appear. It is here that you will set how you want your model to be packed. At the top, we have a drop-down preset that allows you to choose from our pre-made templates, such as Standard, Unreal Engine 4, and Unity. If I select the Unreal Engine 4, you'll notice that some of the options will change in order to work for that selected preset. LODs plus Billboard is selected. Atlasing is set to non-wrapping textures and texture packing to UE4. In the texture packing drop-down menu, there are various forms of texture packing available. Standard, UE4, Unity, or Lumberyard. The textures used in the modeler are not the same as the textures used in the game. In the modeler, we have separate textures for every map channel. But in your game, you might want to pack gloss, metallic, AO together in one texture. While we do supply different texture packing setups, you can write your own if you wanted. However, this is a little beyond this video, but contact support if you want information on this. Once all this is set, just hit OK and a progress bar will appear showing you how far along the exportation and compiling is. OK, so here are the files that were exported, my bark, atlas textures, and the ST file which you would then import to Unreal 4 or Unity. Next, I'm going to show you how to export one draw call models, which is best to use as background and filler trees since there will be a loss of resolution. Now, in order for the export to work, you need to first make some changes to the model. First thing you need to do is change the UV mapping style on all your trunk and branches to U locked and V unrestricted. So it is set to tile once or twice. Then you need to change the wind preset to fastest. Now I'm going to export this model. When the export pop-up appears, you can either choose the one draw call presets made for Unreal 4 and Unity, or set it on your own, which is basically setting the atlas to everything and enabling allow V wrapping. And make sure your texture packing option is set correctly. When I open the file browser, you'll notice that instead of having my barks as separate textures, everything is condensed into one atlas. And you can compare it to our previous export. Well, that is it for this video, and thank you for watching.